that the Battle of Hearts is won, it's time to focus on the Battle of the Kitchens. The honor of Hungry Wok is put on the line as it faces its final showdown with Giant Hotel. Will David finally beat Goliath, once and for all, leading to sweet victory? Or will there only be salty tears of defeat? Episodes 31 to 34 WEECAP Poon reveals that he knows all about SAE Wu's family working for him. But Sol Ya comes out of hiding, along with a stunned Murray Dal, who has only heard of the familial connection just now, and is more determined to confront Poon and SAE Wu for secretly dating. Sol Ya insists that the couple should break up, especially since she knows how Young Hai would react if she found out. But S.A. Wu and Poon have no desire to stop dating. So Ya remains loyal to Young Hai, for whom she's worked the past 20 years, and tells Poon that if he won't break up with S.A. Wu, then he'll have to find a new kitchen staff since she and G.E.O.K. Young won't be returning to Happy Wok. In the morning, Chiel Sung and his boys set up camp in Giant Hotel, exercising their right to protest. They only take up the space allotted to them, and they're quiet and respectful, so the security team has no real excuse to call the police or kick them out. But they're still a hindrance as the spectacle causes guests to think twice about staying there. Chiel Sung receives word that Sung Ryong is planning to sell the hotel restaurant to someone else and use the money to pay off the loan that currently gives the gangsters the right to protest. But the hotel is useless without its restaurant, so Chiel Sung makes an offer to Sung Ryong, Poon and Master Wang have a cooking battle, and the winner gets the hotel, including the restaurant. Sung Ryong agrees, but only if Chiel Sung closes Hungry Wok if Poon loses. Chiel Sung is confident that Poon will win so he accepts the conditions. The protesting gangsters leave the hotel under a temporary truce until the cooking competition. Ha, Poon's been nervously sitting in his car outside S.A.E. Wu's house all night. The family are just waking up and getting ready for the day when Poon rings the doorbell, and they're all astonished to see him walk in. But Young Hai is even more shocked when he greets her politely and calls her mother. Young Hai's surprises keep coming when Poon calmly states that he's dating S.A.E. Wu, and that he'll continue to date her no matter how much Young Hai tries to forbid it. He asks for her blessing and tells them all not to be late to work. Then he leaves as they all stare wide-eyed at him, and S.A.E. Wu tries to hide her smile. Young Hai is determined that her family will have nothing to do with Poon, and warns them that if they go to work at Hungry Wok, then they're no longer a part of her household. S.A.E. Wu tries to talk sense into her mother, reminding her that they're currently broke with no idea of when Dad will be released from jail, and considering their situation, Young Hai should be happy her daughter is able to find a decent guy who loves her. Despite being short-staffed, Hungry Wok is hopping during the lunch rush. Poon has to simplify the menu so that the gangster chefs can handle the demand, but it's still as delicious as ever. One of the customers is none other than Ms. Veterinarian, and as Chiel Sung rushes around taking orders and serving tables, she greets him cheerfully. He's polite but doesn't remember who she is, which irritates her cause she's clearly got a crush on him. She tells him her name and warns him not to forget it. Finally the day is over and Poon can relax. He and Chiel Sung sit on the patio with their beers and Chiel Sung tells him about the bet over the hotel. Poon immediately worries about what will happen if he loses, but Chiel Sung is confident that Poon will win. Besides, if they lose, then they can go to some small country town and make a new life there, and Chiel Sung will live happily ever after eating Poon's food. It sounds like an adorable, and hilariously romantic, dream. Poon panics due to the pressure and insists that he can't do it. If he loses, then Chiel Sung loses everything, too, which means that their friendship would be destroyed as well. Poon couldn't handle being alienated from his Haiyang, so it's better to not try them face the risk of losing. Chiel Sung asks how Poon is able to make S.A.E. Wu happy with that kind of attitude, which stops Poon in his tracks. Chiel Sung says he knows all about the two of them, and Poon suddenly agrees to do the competition. Not for S.A.E. Wu, who will love him no matter what, but for Chiel Sung. Or, is it because he realizes that he's already taken away one thing Chiel Sung loves, so he can't do it again to Chiel Sung's building? As Poon and Master Wang decide on the details of the competition, Chiel Sung tells S.A.E. Wu that he met with her father. Chiel Sung has also been able to find witnesses who will testify that her father was framed, so Dad should be released from jail soon. 
Sae Wu is overwhelmed with joy and hugs Chiel Sung, who so clearly wants to hug her back but manages to keep his arms at his side. Sae Wu promises to keep it a secret from her family until the release is official, but she's so overjoyed that she can't hide it when she sees Poong at the restaurant. He's in the middle of practicing his competition dish, but he doesn't complain about a little exuberant make-out session. Sae Wu worries about how he's managing without Seol Ya and Ji Ok Young, and Poong says he'll find a way, but he really needs her and Seol Ya for the competition. They realize that they could convince Sol Ya to sneak out by using Marain Dal as bait. Sol Ya totally falls for it, thinking she's going to be having a drink with Marain Dal, but really Poong is there to ask her to come back. He shows her the lobster dish he's created for the competition, and most of the technique relies on her skills of dish -elling. Without her, Poong won't be able to finish in time. Despite being drawn in by the complexity of the dish, Sol Ya knows that if she agrees, she might not ever see Young Hai again. It's a tough decision for her. The morning of the cooking competition arrives and Young Hai refuses to let Sol Ya or Sae Wu leave. But Poong is still confident his staff will arrive, even though they're not there when the timer begins for the first dish. The competition is an Iron Chef-style battle, where there are two rounds that focus on an ingredient each chef has selected. Poong chooses lobster for the first round and Master Wang chooses pork belly for the second. 100 guests will taste the dishes and then choose which one they like best. The winner is declared by who gets the most total votes. Poong does his best to hurry through his